Hey there, Scorpio. What's up? What's good? What's happening? Welcome in. Welcome back. This is going to be a general message, so take it if it resonates. Leave it if it doesn't. Cross watchers, you might have to vice versa the roles. You do not have to be a Scorpio for this to resonate. Did I say Libra? This is for Scorpio. Oh, that's interesting. I wonder if I'm talking to a Libra Scorpio Cusper. I feel like there's somebody that's really pissed. Um, I don't even know what that's about. If it's you, if it's somebody towards you, somebody's pissed. Anyways, um, we're going to start with the energy oracles, see what comes out for Scorpio. <sighs> What's going on, sweeties? What's going on? Seventh chakra, Archangel Uriel. This is about your crown chakra. This is a high priestess vibes too. I know something you don't know. <laughs> oh, goodness. I know something you don't know. I feel like this is the person that's pissed. Somebody knows something that they wish they didn't know. Because this changes everything. This looks like that actress in that movie, The Wallflower. Doesn't that look like... Um, oh shit, I can't think of her name. But yeah, interesting. Community. Oh yeah, they know something that the people around them have been talking about, doing, planning. They know something that they were either left out of or lied to and manipulated about. Somebody's pissed at a whole group of people here. Everyone knew? Oh, shit. This could even be a group of people that's pissed at somebody that's been lying to everybody, too, though. Let's keep that in mind, right? Let's see, Scorpio. What's this about? The garden and the gate. I've had enough of this place I'm ready to leave, or I've had enough of these people I'm ready to go. Maybe this whole group of people has had enough of somebody and they need to go. Um, if this is in the workplace, I'm telling you right now, everybody's about to group up and get somebody fired. Somebody's about to be set up. They pissed everybody off and basically they just voted themselves off the island is what I'm getting with that. Maybe somebody wants to go. That's why they're pissing everybody off. So that they can get fired. They don't want to quit. They want to get fired. I don't know what difference that makes. Unless they're up for like unemployment. Because they've worked there so long. And they're like, just fire me. I'll collect my unemployment and be out of everybody's hair. I don't want to be here anyways. You don't want me to be here. Just fire me. Or this is somebody that wants to come out with the truth. But they're not. It's like they're hiding in the hole that they dug themselves into. But now everybody is starting to like catch on. I almost wonder if this person slipped up and said something that they're like, I hope nobody caught that. Honey, everybody caught it. And you know that. Papaya. Somebody likes papaya or avocado. I don't know why that really matters, but okay. Okay. Also getting a high priestess who's really pissed off at um somebody you're close to I feel like you live with this person or maybe you're in a relationship with this person somebody's been lying here somebody's been lying what else do we have for Scorpio please and thank you Either one person's been lying to everybody or everybody's been lying to you. Either way, you know what's up now. You know. Whatever's been kept from you, you know. You're just not telling people you know. Some of you are wondering, hmm, how far are they going to take this? Others of you feel like nobody would believe you anyway, so why bother? <clears throat> I wonder how long they can get away with it, <laughs> right? Or I wonder how far they're going to take it. We have Cornucopia. Overall energy is the Sun card. Well, that's a whole lot of... Oh, happy day. Ding dong, the witch is gone. The wicked witch is gone. <laughs> yeah, somebody could definitely be getting fired here. Somebody could be getting fired. Um... 
The sun card is a full reveal, everything being seen for exactly what it is. And cornucopia is literally the best possible outcome you could have. It's more than you even asked for. So I kind of feel like some of you guys, you don't even have to do nothing with this information. You know what you know, keep it to yourself. There could be a whole group of other people that are the ones that are going to do something about this. So if this is like in the workplace, your higher ups will take care of this mess, right? Or the customer complaints will take care of this for you. Um, but if this is in a relationship, I feel like your friends might be saying, hey, so I saw your person at the mall, blah, blah, blah. They actually send you pictures, right? Proof. Not just he said, she said. Like you have everything you need in order to wrap up what you need to wrap up. Step away from what you need to step away from. Gave somebody enough rope. They went and did it to themselves type shit. Like, I don't think you need to do anything other than just be aware of what's going on and just kind of let it happen how it happens. Let it play out how it plays out. You might even be seeing seahorses. I'm getting a lot of seahorse energy with these two cards up here. It's um, watch and wait, you know? Sit back and watch how this plays out. Wait before you say anything or um, do anything, you know? Get involved. Like, just sit back and, and let this play out. I feel like somebody's about to show their whole ass. The chariot. Yeah, this is a major forward movement for you, though. Like, when you're done, you're out. When you're out, you're gone. Whoa. Two of cups with the fucking moon. I'm yes, I'm telling you, there was something secretive going on here. There was something secretive, something that you didn't, you didn't see it with your eyes, but you felt it with your intuition. This could even be finding out that your person went went somewhere with their friends that they should not have gone. They knew you'd be upset if you found out. You just found out. They can't even, like, they, they knew they shouldn't have gone with their friends. They knew it. It's like, ladies, it's like when your man goes out with the boys and comes home with a bunch of glitter on them. You know exactly what I'm talking about, right? Like, what unacceptable the high priestess again there she is out of both decks you know exactly what they don't want you to know and i don't some of you haven't even told them that you know i want to know you know <laughs> but you do you know and they have no idea that you're on to them they have no idea you you've caught on you're paying attention you've hacked their accounts <laughs> You caught that on camera. You overheard the conversation. You went through their phone and saw the messages. You called their work and they weren't there. Like, they don't know that you know. They have no idea. Seven of Cups. There's that confusion, illusions, dreamer energy, having too many options, not sure what to go for, and then the Nine of Cups. So the Seven of Cups is all these options. The next step is the Eight of Cups, walking away from those options because essentially they're not what you want. And then you're walking towards the Nine of Cups, which is the true wish fulfillment. So you may have thought this one was the one, but this ain't the one. This ain't the one. Yeah, Three of Discs. There should only be two people, not three. Somebody likes tacos and quesadillas or pie. Maybe that's pie. I don't know. Somebody might be a foodie. I ain't never been with a baddie because I like to eat food and I'm a baddie. <laughs> I just said that. All right, anyways. Yeah, you know exactly what they don't want you to know and it could end this connection. And it looks like it's going to. You're looking at this option like there's too much that I don't know about. It's too confusing. Don't make no fucking sense. 
They're always keeping me in the dark. I still don't know that much about them, even though they know so much about me. Something ain't right here. I think I'm going to walk away and go towards my real Nine of Cups because this ain't it. This is a false start, a false flame, a false twin, a false soulmate. It's, it's, this person isn't legit. They're not. And I think you are so very happy that you found out before it got worse or you guys got closer or things got more, um, things got deeper between you guys. It's almost like you're happy and glad that you found out now rather than down the road. Some of you guys might actually be down the road in this relationship, but it doesn't change the fact that it's not what you want. This person has too many secrets, too much to hide. I do feel like they're hiding a person. That person might even be getting pregnant. Now they're looking at their options. What do we do? Some of you know your person's about to leave you because they got somebody else pregnant. Look at that. Three of, cu uh, three, three of cups. Three of discs. And then there's three in the community. Somebody might not know who the baby mama, baby daddy is to this child, this pregnancy. This could even just be somebody who when you go off to work, you don't really know what your person is doing. They're linking up with other people and doing things they shouldn't be doing. And you have this weird feeling. That's how you're going to know if this resonates. You have this feeling like you know. You know? You don't have the proof yet, but you just know. Trust that knowing. Trust that feeling. Because you're right on the money. We have Leo, Pisces, Cancer, Cancer, Pisces. Pisces, wow, and Cancer. Yeah, so you're either dealing with a Cancer, Leo, or Pisces. At least those are the energies that are present. I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. I hope this message helps who it needs to, how it needs to. I love you guys, and I will see you soon. Until then, stay beautiful.